the Stampin' Up! CEO and I are very in tune. We, we go live together on a Tuesday. We just time it right. <laughs> so if you're over there watching our Sarah on Facebook, and you are, <laughs> good evening everybody. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. I've got a bit of a special evening tonight. It is my sister's birthday. My eldest sister, as I like to remind everybody, at uh, she's over at Artful Stamping, uh, Stampin'. So if somebody can type that in in the live chat, then people can get an idea of how to spell it. So Ruth is 45 today. I'm going to just tell everybody how old she is and, <laughs> and the fact that she's the eldest. Um, and so as a, a bit of a nod to Ruth and to her beautiful, inspiring work that she does, I'm going to attempt tonight a, uh, a wreath, a stamped wreath, um, a one sheet wonder. So in layman's terms, it is basically a plain white 12 by 12 sheet like this, which by this hour or so, yes, we're going to be in for the long haul. It will be covered in beautiful stamping. And um, a lot of the tips and tricks I've learnt off my sister Ruth, so I can't take all the credit for it. Um, now I spoke to Ruth earlier in the week and I said I'd like to do it you a one sheet wonder and um, please give me some colours. Now she gave me some colours and I had a quick play, in fact I might grab my play that I did earlier to show you. And I thought, oh, I could do with maybe some extra colours in my wreath. So I have actually added some extra colours in today. So as Ruth joined us yet, I'm just going to call you up on my other device. Then I can keep tabs on comments, hopefully. I don't think she's here yet. The, oh, there she is. We've got to call her out. <laughs> right. Shall we get started? I've got a bit of a twisting situation happening here. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. And if I don't see you, good night. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. Oh, I've forgotten to do this. Ready? Happy birthday! Woohoo! <laughs> Missed it, it went all past the camera. There you go. <sighs> Smells nice. Look, I spent hours decorating. Can you see it? <laughs> oh dear, let's get started. I uh, didn't have enough time to get my um, other glad rags on and bits and bobs, but there you go Ruth. Happy birthday, lovey. Let's get started. Right, so um, Ruth chose the colour, the following colours. So, Soft Sucky, which is um, a new colour that's coming in. <coughs> I'm smoked out now. Uh, which you can purchase May the 4th. Star Wars Day, just like to remind people. She chose Granny Apple Green. She's a bit crafty because she chose two similar pinks, polished pink, and then she's given me two greens, Magenta Madness. So those are the colours that Ruth chose. And so I had a quick play, and this is what I came up with my, with my first go, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, no, sorry, she gave me another colour. She let me have Sahara Sand as well so those were Ruth's colour choices but I thought do you know what I can do a bit better than that and I'm gonna add in hope you don't mind Ruth Blackberry Bliss and a rich Razzleberry to the mix now I just do like to say before I start that just check your settings for the picture quality because it can make a real difference as to how I come on the screen and I can't change it on my other one. Oh, come on don't do this to me See if I can, oh, that's better. Because when it's when I'm looking at the screen and looking at comments and it's blurry, it's really off-putting. Okay, so that's what we've gone for. What, you cheat, she says. Well, just trust me on this one, it'll be worth it. I am a bit fuzzy, Ooh, a bit fuzzy. Okay, you don't know how to check, okay. So if you are on a, a device you go to the three buttons and it calls up settings um, if you click I've changed it but if you click, click on quality I pressed advanced and then you can change it to whatever setting that you want so um, that is fuzzy isn't it oh dear 
I'm just going to, I'm just going to carry on, I think. Um, am I okay? Is everybody still seeing me fuzzy? Because I want to get started. Get this party started. No, don't watch me fuzzy. <laughs> it looks so much better when it's not fuzzy, trust me. <laughs> Hi Claire. Claire, am I fuzzy? Or is it okay? It's difficult to tell, I've not started stamping. Right, so let's get polished pink done. It is fuzzy, but I'm going, oh dear. Oh, maybe, let me just put on the other. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. I'm okay now, good. Right, let's start. Oh, no, we're not starting with that one. We are actually, now, Again, I'm just going to pick up on everything that Ruth said and I'm going to uh, <laughs> retell it to you. So Ruth often says that when you've got a, a blank sheet of paper like this that's staring at you, it can be quite intimidating. So the best way to get rid of that intimidation is to start stamping. So I'm, in true Ruth style, I'm going to use loads of stamp sets today. We've got, I will recap afterwards, Meadow which is where this text is coming from. Again, this is a new one coming out in on May the 4th. I'm using Butterfly Gala. Oh, hello, rubber band. I'm using Hand Penned Petals. This is going to retire. Hand Penned Petals, which is a new one, which is coming in on the 4th. And this one's going to retire, Rooted in Nature. Okay, I will recap these afterwards in true Artful Stamping style. But uh, in the meanwhile, we will carry on. So I'm just blocking out this white stark paper by stamping on it. That's all I'm doing and I'm going to be as smudge free as possible. <laughs> what do you reckon? What are the chances, eh? What are the chances? So I'm stamping three times, which is called three generation or third generation stamping. And this just really does help to take the stark white off okay i think i'm done with this just do one more there okay and what i would like oh, okay not a bit too close what i will try and do is get you to follow me around the page um so you can see what i'm stamping now i'm fuzzy great <laughs> i don't think there's anything i can do regarding my fuzzy just, like I said, have a look at your settings, because... Um, it might change. I think the words on the screen don't help. So, this stamp here, uh, it comes from the hand pen petals, and it actually fits into this, this outline here, okay? Sorry, I will come back and say hello to everybody in a minute. I thought I'd better just get started. And I'm going to stamp once, turn slightly and stamp again. So you've got this lovely shadowing effect. But I'm now actually going to come in and stamp the opposite side and stamp it twice. So I've got a nice pom-pom flower. And then I'm going to work my way around the block. Doing these nice pom pom flowers. The idea of this being a wreath is that we do go around the page. So we're using the bigger flowers to start laying down some colour, some outline to the page. I will say hello to everybody in just a sec. I'm going to just get things, get the ball rolling. And then we can have a little catch up. In the meantime, Ruth can tell you how her day was. But that was polished pink. And I'm now going to go in with magenta madness. you 
back up to the corner. I'm going to stamp a few of these. Oh, I've got a bumpy surface under here. Oh yes, it was it's my table. <laughs> I was hoping to get away with that. Um, I could do with a flatter surface. Who's making cups of coffee then, eh? Ruth, did you get your Amazon parcel? So we've got our second largest flower and we're building up the scene. And then just checking my, I have got a cheat sheet, can you tell? <laughs> I keep referring to it. We're gonna go with Blackberry Bliss. Oh, iced mocha. Now you're talking my language. Yes, please. Oops, let's turn this over a bit. There are some pretty blackberry bliss flowers. We're going to cluster these together. Because it's a nice dark colour, you can actually get quite a lot out of the ink. I'm going to zoom you out so you can see what the whole thing taking shape. So do invite people along to the party. We've we've started, but you know we can always have latecomers to the party. That's that's all good. Don't mind latecomers. So I'm just going to lay down the kind of initial bulk of the bouquets, and then we start going back in and start thinking about how to to fill it in a bit more. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure I get all the colours in first. Watching and working. Shh. Nobody mentioned that Mary's here, okay? <laughs> uh, let's just do a quick register because there's so many people hopped on. It's lovely to see you all. Welcome, and Linda and Ruth and Rosie and Karen and Linda and Galena and Mindy and Lorraine and Monica and Pam and Christine and Claire and Janine and Sheila B. Lavini, Glenna, said your name, Janine, said your name, said your name, Miss Barbie, Miss Melanie. I think, I think that's everybody. Just shout if I've missed you out. So this stamp here is from Hand Penned. And penned, uh, what's it called? Petals, hand penned petals. I'm actually going to tuck these in a little bit. I didn't in my original, but I'm, I'm going to go. I'm just going to tuck these in in some places, and then I'm going to have them popping out a bit more with the stems in other places. That's the plan. Okay. So when you're doing floral type arrangements like this if you're stamping twice or even three times it just gives that more natural look to your images and it wastes less ink <laughs> bonus <laughs> it just makes it look a bit more organic welcome Jen welcome to the party if you sit down somebody will be able to get your drink hopefully Who's sorting out the drinks tonight? We're on mockers. We haven't quite uh, escalated to the alcohol yet. I like this stamp. It's so pretty. So don't you worry about my clusters. They will branch out a bit. In fact, let's branch out a bit more now. And branch out, everybody, and branch out. And reach. Oh, I'm off my page. <laughs> and reach. And reach. Stretch for the star. Too early to drink. After today, a whiskey and a coke, please. 
Jan, come on in. Pull up a chair and relax. Come and do some virtual stamping. So welcome if you're brand new to my channel. It's really nice to have your company. And what else can I say? Um, do say hello. Come and ask any crafty questions. I'll try and answer them. So this little beauty here goes on top of the ones that we've just stamped. So I'm going to go in with Sahara Sand this time to cap these off. Oh, I can feel that I'm not quite on the mat underneath. She's, uh, Jan's going to toast with whatever she's got in her hand. No champagne for Jan, thank you. So what do, do I dare ask? What What's people's go-to drink? If you came to the UK, you folk, or if you're in the UK already, you can say. And I said, look, next round of drinks is on me. What are you going to have? What would be your your tipple? What would what would your drink be? Cool, what a subject, eh? We talk about food and drink. <laughs> Who's having a coffee? Jan's on the coffee. Sangria, Kool-Aid, <laughs> Cosmo, but Prosecco is always good. What's Cosmo? Vodka and Coke. I need to get some new ideas. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're teetotal. I don't mean to cause any offence to anybody if you are. Arches or oh, arches is uh, pe peach li liqueur, isn't it? Brown cow. What's a brown cow? Unless you're just calling me names, Barbie. <laughs> Not heard of a brown cow. Now, this is going to dramatically change because we haven't added that very bright granny apple green in yet, have we? Oh, great tea. Schnapps. Kahula, what's going on? Finding out all these new drinks. Okay, let's add in our very bright granny apple green because Ruth requested it. So this image here is from the um, Rooted in Nature stamp set and this is actually retiring and don't look too closely, but my ink is a bit dire because it needs re-inking. My poor ink pad. Now look at what this does with a sheet. It just brightens it up. And um, remember, if those of you who are regular viewers and watched uh, and watched Ruth's channel, we talked about that bright pink uh, magenta madness colour being Aunt, Aunt Mabel, the wacky aunt that comes dressed almost inappropriately to parties. <laughs> and for me, this granny apple green is just bringing Aunt Mabel to the party. So let's follow me round, follow me round the block. But the lovely thing about this is it just gives that organic feel to my stamped sheet and it just helps to spread the wings of the let's get you back out again i want to oh no i better not go pressing buttons ah oh, it's uh let me read that comment again glenna says oh hey it's my friend and paper crafter kelly please welcome to her to her first esther esther live hi kelly welcome Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to the party. We're celebrating Ruth's birthday today. So if you've not met Ruth, she's my sister and we call her the Queen of One Sheet Wonders. Because she created this method, well, we think she did anyway. We'll say that until we're proven otherwise. <laughs> Shall we? I haven't seen anybody else quite do this, so we'll just call Ruth the Queen. Um, she... she I'm sure she must have come up with this idea of just using those stamps to um, create floral arrangements and to stamp on a whole sheet. 
which can then be cut up and used for other projects. Don't be shy, Kelly. This is the bestest group, says Glenna. Oh, Glenna, it is. It's a great, great community of people in here. If you don't mind, you can let us know where you're from, Kelly. You'll get a lovely warm welcome from everybody here. And then watching that hasn't been so brave to speak up tonight's your night go ahead say say who you are if she didn't create it she sure mastered it yes amen yep and the thing about it that's really lovely is the fact that ruth shares her love of stamping and one she wonders, so she doesn't leave us in the dark wondering how to do it. She actually can teach the method and shares the love. Right, so I've now filled in the blanks, which I much prefer. So we started with the big flowers, we've worked our way down, we've tried to use incorporate all the colours, and now at this stage you start looking at it to say, right, let's get in the tiny details so what Ruth would normally do at this stage is go right these flowers inside are bare and you need something in the middle <laughs> so I'm going to use these tiny flowers that come from the quiet meadow stamp set here and I'm going to use them as um, to fill inside the flowers I'm just trying to find the right colour So you've got to be very careful not to overpress with these images because um, you do tend to print the rubber that's on the around the outside if you're not careful. So just take your time and don't maybe don't press as hard as you would normally. Just ever so light a touch, and it just helps to fill in those white gaps. Now I'm a bit limited to floral stamps which Ruth would normally use but I'm using what I've got that's what it's all about oh okie dokie dokie <laughs> oh dear what have you trimmed Wendy your one sheet wonder I keep going to this pink I don't know why welcome Kelly from North Toronto Ontario Canada Markham oh Glenna has spoken quite passionately about this group. I'm not surprised. Glenna's one of our old times now, aren't you, Glenny? <laughs> and we've got Barbie in Nova Scotia. Shout out to Nova Scotia. Oh, you've trimmed your flower stamps. Yeah, I have trimmed them a little bit. I'm so... <laughs> I start talking and then I can't remember what I've said. Look, I'm getting halos. Can you see that? because I'm pressing down too hard and my ink pads could do with re-inking or summit, summit as they'd say okay I quite like the big pom-pom flowers as they are when I did my practice there was a gap in the middle but I've bridged the gap a bit more right, this is the point where we stand back survey survey and say right what do we need Glenna this is where you start shouting <laughs> we need spottage bring on the spot so again if you watch through uh this this kind of stamp here with the splatters it's known as dotage it's known as spottage or spottage or one sheet wonder freckles it's been nicknamed. So I'm going to bring on Rich Razzleberry and I'm going to start just laying down that, the spots onto the page. And this just, ladies and gentlemen, brings it to life. Oh, yeah. The difference is incredible. So what I am doing is laying down the darkest spots next to the purple flowers. So it doesn't look, oh, come on the thingy. 
so it doesn't look too completely random okay it is a bit random but you know just so that you've got a natural flow of the fact that they're coming from the purple flowers type of thing <laughs> okay welcome nancy have you been before nancy or is this your first time So you do want to kind of go in a couple of times and get that ink off of your stamp because it just spreads the love. Am I still blurry? If I am, that would be really annoying. My phone keeps switching back for some reason. There we go. Uh, wipes off Glenna's foggy screen. <laughs> Oh, the script is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, now, it wouldn't be a ode to Ruth unless we had some butterflies in here. So, because we've got our extra bit of purple, um, I'm going to bring on the... I think we're going to use magenta for this. I could do with some more pink, but I know what. I've got an idea. Actually, we're not going to use magenta. We're going to use this. Stay with me, folks. Can you tell I've stamped this one already in a darker colour? <laughs> Had a change of mind. <laughs> um, this is the polished pink colour, which is the new colours. I'm going to just dot a few butterflies within my sheet. You know, you don't have to have two together, but I quite like the idea of two together. So they will be together. <laughs> Afternoon, Cindy. Lots of butterflies and dotted for the birthday girl, yes. So I think I will have them kind of maybe following the page around a little bit. Maybe let's separate them a bit. So this is the point now in the game where we fill in the bridge the gaps. Okay, so we're reusing those colours and thinking how we can use them again in our work. So remember I said I had an idea, I'm going to bring back these little flower stamps. Now I know I've just, we've done the polished pink, I'm going to use the uh, magenta madness. And we're just going to add a few little floaty oh, come back on the page quick 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 just a few little floaties little I like little fairy kisses kiss 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 so if they've fallen out the flowers little fairy kisses so all this detail you think yeah really but is anyone going to see it just look at this side compared to this side okay and just by adding these finishing touches, you'll be amazed. It's all about the detail. It's all about the finishing touches. It's one of my taglines, difference in the detail. I have two taglines and that's one of them. <laughs> and this is where you've got a chance to maybe if your wreath isn't looking very round and you want it to be a bit rounder, you can encourage it with these extra bits of stamping. Now this is where I'd normally stare at Ruth and go, you've missed a spot over that corner, you want to put some in there? Because that's how Ruth speaks. <laughs> well, that's how I speak to Ruth. <laughs> oh dear. Tagline, oh, you made me ink, says Linda. Oh, my dog, da oh, your dog Daisy responded to my kisses. Daisy, Daisy. Hello, Daisy. I like your doggy. Uh, not meta yet, but I would like to. Right, I'm going to come in with uh, Rich Razzleberry. And again, we're going to use our little kisses. Just add that something, something. It tells somebody that you've taken the time to add tiny flowers. I 
and when you do a wreath like this you know you've you've already spent time making it so you want people to stare at it and stare at it until they can see even more and more detail phew ruth likes everybody i can go home now <laughs> so ruth was it okay to add the purple was i allowed is that allowed bit of a cop out i know but you know yes please i'd love to see her do like little doggies Trying to eke it out. Hmm, says Ruth. She's not sure whether she should have allowed me the extra purples. She thinks I should have done without. Good morning, Vicky. Now, I'll tell you what colour's lacking. Sahara sand. So let's look, because I've only used it in one place. And the soft succulent. Actually, no, soft succulent I've used in the script. So let's have a little think. Oh, I know what we could do. Um, hey, Navarana. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Susan. I don't know if I said hello to you. The purple pops. Exactly, I needed the purple to, to make it pop. In here, we have got some. Oh, we've got some smaller flowers as well. And we've got some leaves, but I think I might use the leaves at this stage to maybe add some more something, something. Build up those. Got just a few gaps. Let's extend our leaves so that you can actually see them, shall we? So you want to kind of bridge, bridge a few gaps here. This is the point where you really like filling out any odd spaces that you don't really want to see. So tuck them in between the flowers. And this is the subtle, this is the subtle difference it's going to make. Subtle but different. Thank you, Elizabeth. Just so that when you walk away, it's not, you don't feel as if this colour's missed out. It's had its chance. It's the one at the party that sits in the corner and happily is there, but it's in the background. It's an, it's an observer. <laughs> It observes everyone else going crazy and seeing what everyone else is doing. But very much needed, you know. It just helps to neutralise everything and keep everything sane. Make sure everyone's behaving. Uh, Glenna says, so pretty Esther. Esther, very fresh and airy. Oh. It's nice and it is nice and fresh, like a breath of fresh air. Just breathe it in. Does it smell of clean washing? Oh my goodness, this is so addictive. Has anyone had a go at this? <laughs> you, you do. You get to a point where you just want to keep going and going and going. It does get rather addictive. Mm, let's have a look. I'm wondering about. Let's have a look. <laughs> Could do with maybe just thinking about the purples, thinking about these two here, these two flowers. Uh, Wendy says she's had 12 by 12 in her last order, but she's not tried a wreath yet. Lorraine says, I love the colours in this wreath, Esther. Good choice is Ruth. And Ruth, at last minute, decided to pick purple, didn't you, Ruth? <laughs> 
I'd be lying if I said, Barbie lovey, thank you. That's so kind. Hey, Joanna. Uh, me either, Wendy. Just call me chicken, says Janine. Janine hasn't tried it right. I'm going to be a bit daring and add some more flowers. Just going to bridge the gap even more. You and Ruth have changed how I look at things, says Jan. Never noticed before, but my tablecloth looks like pretty perennials. It's amazing how you now stare at prints and go, oh, what stamping up pattern can I use? Stamp can I use on that? Or what stamp set does that now look like? Cover up. And this is where you cover up any boo-boos as well. If there's some serious kind of like mishaps going on. Uh, it's very fresh, isn't it? Now, I do think because I've got that text coming right in there, I could do with a bit more text, I think, just to... I veered off to the, the right a little bit. That's not bad for half an hour's work. Uh, Jan said, is daffodil delight, granny apple green, flirty flamingo and bossy melon? See? She's talking the lingo now. So I'm just going to stamp off with this text and then come on in here a little bit. And just add it a bit more so it doesn't look so out of place. It's fairly round. It didn't do too badly. I do think maybe I could come in. Right, now's the time to stare at it and go... It's a bit of a wild wreath, okay? <laughs> Just saying. Oh. Uh. Really, of course. Oh, boo boos. <laughs> I see. <laughs> we'll have to find a new word for it now. I can see there's a lumpy gap in here. I can see it on the screen. So what we're going to do with the said lumpy gap, lumpy pumpy, um, could really do with one of these in there. So let's do that now. Oh, thank you everybody. There, that's better. And I think I could do with just something down here as well. Isn't it amazing that I know this sounds a bit crazy, but you can stamp over stamps like, you know, I don't know if we'd ever think to do that stamp over stamps. Does that make sense? Because we're, we're scared that it will spoil it or something. But Okay, I'm going back in with a bit more green and then I, I will wrap up and let, uh, let the lady of the day have her turn. Let me encourage you, give this a go. Not necessarily a wreath, but just get your stamps out and have a play. It is so nice just to keep on stamping and not to stop and just, yeah, because you, you're just creating as you go. It's just so fun. If you've never done it before and you want to have a go or you want to know where to start with it or you like some product to get started, please, please message me and get in touch. I'd love to share a catalogue with you and... um you know, maybe do some classes and get you started on your road to stamping. Um, I can share testimonials with you of people who have been in my classes or on my team. 
um, you'd be welcome. Right, a thumbs up would be amazing. Thank you, all those who are watching. Appreciate your time. I think we are coming to the end. I'm just, I might just do one last thing. Um, and if you don't thumbs up, any interaction, I'm just going to say, I know some of my videos, believe it or not, have had a thumbs down. Now, I made Ruth a card the other day. And yes, it did take an hour to make because sometimes card making does take that long. Somebody went and gave me a thumbs down. But you know what? It's an interaction. Little do they realise it helps my algorithms. I'd rather they gave me a thumbs up, but you know. And if you give me a thumbs down, you could just explain your reasons. Just say, didn't like it, you're too long. <laughs> so yeah, thumbs up is always good. Any interaction, like commenting, is always lovely. Always lovely to hear from, from you, uh, particularly after the event. So I'm just going to go in with more dots with the Sahara sand. Because I want it a little bit even more wispy. Just around the centres. And a little bit will have some coming off the edges. Just build up on that colour. <laughs> Vicky. Swoon those dots, says Glenna. I know. Just... It's just calling for it. So Ruth hasn't actually received said card yet, so nobody uh, mention, <laughs> mention it yet. She will get to see the video after she's received the card, but she'll have the real thing to look at. So, But thank you for those who have commented and checked that out. Appreciate that. Thank you, Gina. Are you off? Oh, thank you, Joanna. Baby's breath, yes. I read that as baby's breathe just now. <laughs> so, Esther, are you going to show us the cards you did for on stage or whatever it was? Oh, Lorraine, yes, I can. Now, the other thing I need to do is to um, film it because I'm going to give out measurements. But yes, I will show you. So, just uh, going to show you this before I show you something else to try and get a good lighting for you thank you Sandra thank you so much there you go I'll have to send this to Ruth now won't I so Ruth if you're doing I don't know if you're doing any auctions or anything for Potter's house for your birthday Ruth is um, supporting a charity for her birthday if you're a Facebook friend you can um, give on her page um, but I'm happy to give this up for auction for that if you are doing that or if you want to do that so um, if you are interested just let me Ruth and I can have a chat about it so it could be chopped up or uh, left as it is or whatever. Right, so I'm just going to have a quick turn of the camera and grab my cards and I'll talk you through what I did the other day. Oh, Lorraine started the bidding. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so the other day be Monday. <laughs> The other day be Monday, <laughs> and uh, I'd be asked. Um, <laughs> I was asked um, to demonstrate some cards on um, a Facebook group specifically for UK Stampin' Up demonstrators, of which I am one. So, if you're new to this channel and don't know what I am or who I am. <laughs> I'm Esther at Stampin' Style Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I like it to an Avon rep, but for craft goodies instead. So um, the things that I use tonight are all uh, Stampin' Up! products. So on Monday, I was asked to, um, to do a demonstration. Um, sorry, I've stopped because Pamela says you sound like a, 
Oh, a new fun, new funlander. Is that what? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, so we came up with this idea of um, stepping up cards. So it's very easy. Newfoundland, Newfoundland. It's way better than Avon, says Jan. <laughs> of, sorry, I keep getting, I must have been read your comments. Stop it. <laughs> um, stepping up cards. So when you get into crafting, you, um, you know, you like to throw lots of things at it. You have ribbons and gems and die cuts and lots and lots of things. But actually for beginners and new people, it could be quite scary. It's like, what, what's dies? What is that? What's a die cutting machine? What's embossing? What's stamping? What's a stamp block? What's a stamp apparatus? And it's a bit, isn't it? It could be a bit mind boggling. So what I did is I did three designs and I made three cards for each of those designs using the, the new um, hand penned petals suite. So you can get this stamp set. It comes with matching dies, which are metal shapes, which cut out um, some of these images and uh, pretty papers that come with this set as well and there's some pretty embellishments. So I'll just move my wreath off the table. Oh, the, <laughs> the bidding's still going on. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. So yeah, if you know, if you do want to, to bid for my wreath tonight, then the money will go to um, the Potter's House charity. So it can be overwhelming for newbies, absolutely. What was that last comment? She's she just said I should shut shut I should Who said what, Jan? Sorry, I'm trying to read the comment. <laughs> I'm totally misreading. Right, let's get I feel like I'm wasting your time. Right. So the first one that I did was using that lovely um, stamp that I like. And I was just explaining to people that um, who who should be quiet, Jan? Oh, you wanted us not to speak so you would stop reading. <laughs> and I'm still reading. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, so I was explaining that for new people, it's just quite nice to experiment with one colour and do monochromatic cards to show techniques like um, second generation stamping. Glenda says, I agree, Esther. I remember my first go at stamping up. Kelly was with me in the same class. So yeah, you know, it's about how to put the stamp on the block. It's about how to ink up your block. And I think, you know, we forget as, as crafters that you can go simple and just as effective. So that was the uh, beginner card. And then um, the next card I made was for the crafter that has maybe crafted already in their in their life and um, maybe used to crafting and does the occasional crafting. So you might want to step it up a bit with some pretty papers and ribbon. And this time we introduced some more colour to the mix. So that's the new fresh freesia colour. And then so I made I demoed those ones and then I made uh, pre-made this one and added the gorgeous gems. Now, just by adding gems and ribbon, I think, you know, can make a card look stunning. I mean, you can obviously add gems on this one, um, but then you introducing die cutting as well. So you've got this lovely stitched edging with the scallop um, and just popping up dimensions. And just pop, you know, everything just suddenly then pops. So that was the, the first set of cards I did. And then the next set I, um, we're introducing kind of layers and we use the opposite side of the paper of this paper, which I just grab for colour inspiration. So again, if you're new to stamping, not sure about what colours go together, um, this was the paper that I used, um, which is the opposite side for inspiration to colour this in. And also it's a way of talking through to people that if you are using this stamp set, that the, the images don't actually match. So just keep it simple. You're introducing paper, just one layer, sticking it straight on. So that was our beginner card. And then stepping it up, we cut 
a slice off the bottom and turned it round to show that you can use the same paper but use it in different ways. Um, they're not blends, no, they uh, used the inks. So with every pack of paper you get, it does tell you what colours they've used in the paper. So it's stamped off Blushing Bride, it's stamped off Misty Moonlight, stamped off Daffodil Delight and uh, Pool Party. And introducing maybe your customers or crafters to the trimmer. So not at this stage adding too many dies, but I did die cut along the bottom there so that was stepping up so then for the last one oh hi angie nice hi linda kasparian i've got to say your surname <laughs> for the last one we did this one so we added lovely flourishing of dyes and the um the flower dyes again we've got the ribbon on both of these and then that lovely um was really into that scallop so this is hand penned penned petals that we used tonight on the wreath incidentally so this is just some of the paper that comes with it and these flowers these ones that I used tonight all come from this stamp set so if you've missed the wreath that I've just done we used it all in here tonight but just without the outline okay um hi patty so then we, um, so I was showing that you don't need all the outlined stamps, that you can just use the stamps that we used tonight. Again, just using one colour. If you're a beginner, you might not want to be overwhelmed with lots of colour. And just the idea of um, putting your stamps on one block and stamping in one go. Then um, we really stepped up. <laughs> and showcasing mixing the colours so here I've got pale papaya and grey granite which I think is a forgotten colour and um, using the dye to shadow the image at the back oh it's movable <laughs> and adding gems and also introducing blending on that really simple technique of of torn torn paper masking so then for my finale I um I did a fancy fold card which I've done before a couple of times with um, different designs. Um, I did this one here. Now, <laughs> on the day I forgot to just blend around the edges, which was just going to be the the last thing I needed to do uh, on the card. But again, you know, just using the same stamps and just do partial stamping because that can be enough detail on the card. Adding this beautiful ribbon, matching ribbon. So again, showcasing your coordinating products. And um, that that die, <laughs> I love that die. <laughs> and then this just pulls out like this. So that is a separate piece of card that you then stick in, like so. Uh, Elizabeth said, "I got to this stage watching you last night. Then the matchsticks propping my eyes open snaps. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for attempting to watch." but I will leave it up for, for you to view. So that, that original, um, can't, I can't take credit for this lovely fancy fold. It's Brenda Quintana on YouTube that came up with this original design and I've just um, adapted it to UK measurements. So there you go. Those are the cards that I did on the UK. Um, if you're a UK demonstrator, you can still check out that video of the process on Facebook. Janine says, need to see how to make that fold. Well, I have done a couple of videos already on that fold. So, um, make sure I don't fall off my chair. Uh, Claire says, it makes me excited to get this sweet. So I did it with the So Succulents. So I've got that video up already. I did a class with the So Succulents. And I think I've made that widely available. Let me know if I haven't. And then I, this is definitely available because I made this card for my son's birthday. Um, and I made the little, I think most of you have seen this, but he was made out of um, all uh, Stampin' Up! punches. The little baby Yoda or Grogu. And look at his fluffy hair, so cute. So yeah, it goes to show how different a card can look. Same fold, but just um, three completely different ways of doing it. So there you go. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you. And like I said, I think I'll do, I need to record some videos and get the measurements up and 
get that out there maybe on a blog or something so I've got 59 viewers tonight thank you so much 60 it's just gone up to please subscribe to my channel because you can catch me another time doing live videos like this live interaction you can press that live chat button you can see all the comments and um, by subscribing and hitting the bell it's important to hit the bell and press the bell for all notifications so if there's any video uploads you catch me as well so take care very happy birthday to my dear Ruth um, just going to swing you around and um, yes do follow Ruth over at Artful Stampin Stampin without the G a thumbs up is always appreciated any kind of love your comments you being here um, very much appreciated thank you everybody take care good night I'm out of here <laughs> bye